Okay, welcome back to the Cube with Data Science Channel. This is the third and final video of our, of our series on how to import data, how to use SSIS to import data into a SQL Server database. Okay, now the first video uh, provided an introduction to how to install data tools. You install data tools, go back and watch that, and how to, how to import a CSV file. Video two showed how to, how to, how to use SSIS to import an Excel file. Uh, in both cases, we're creating a table in SQL Server itself. Now, this is a reminder, you have to define the table before you can import data into it. Okay, so you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to create the table first, okay? So anyway, we're going to be, we're going to be pulling some data from a progress database. I will mention that uh, in, in, if you don't CSV, you have to define the column types in SSIS, but if you're using an Excel spreadsheet, or another database, you don't have to actually define the individual column types, okay? So let's go over here now. Databases. Data table, okay? So we need to come over here then. Now, if you if you if you if you weren't sure what the data type is in, in Postgres, because you want to create you want to create a new table, the same the same specs in, because we have to create a new table. Uh, called dim data in SQL Server. You come over here to, to, to a D, DDL, which is data definition language, okay? And there's your basic thing now. Because, because we're using a SQL Server, okay, you may have to come over here to uh, to get uh, to ChatGPT and ask it to convert this into a SQL Server table. And, and, this, and this to work with the free one as well as the paid version, okay? And now, and now here's our, here's our new, uh, here's our new, uh, and, and here, and, and, here, and here, and here's the data structure for SQL Server then, okay? So you take this, go over there, and just create a new table in your database, all right? We'd come over here first of all. Let's just see what's actually in here. From Why does it say in DD? I don't know. And there's our data, okay? So now I need to come over here, we need to truncate this data, right? Now, just so you can see, there's nothing up my sleeve. I'll go back and I'll run a quick select on this. Okay. Let's 
so that I can see that it's empty. Right, that's, <laughs> I had to pause that, wait a minute, is that what we wanted to do? <laughs> no, actually that's not what we wanted to do, is it? <laughs> Is there an undo button here? <laughs> okay. Now here's the thing. We may be, in fact, be able to import the data directly back in there. Hmm. Well, we have dim data, we're doing it. Okay, now. Because because now because the table is uh, now here's the thing we could probably use SSIS to import this data okay. Now this should work since this is already the data we have. So, so there's, no, there's no charge for this extra bit of, uh, of code for this, for this demonstration. Yeah, it's kind of odd. Don't go away. Now we're back on. Now we're back where we started from, okay? Saving workspace, so we come over here now. Open up over here. Oh, I'll just mention again that if, if you have installed uh, the Data tools. There, there's a package you have to install as part of an installation of Visual Studio. It's called something like uh, Data and Storage. With well, that package, uh, you go, you, you go, you go to far up install. You go to modify. You scroll down to something like Data and Storage. You click that. Then you go over to the bottom right and you click on the what it's going to say like next or, or, or you know or install or, or, or something like that to actually run it, actually run the installation. You have to have that in order to get this data to work, okay? Over here.
good. I, I, I will say one of the big things that SSS, SSS is used for probably is data inventory, managing data inventories. I mean, you know, because you, you, can you can do the transformation either in, X, in, in SQL in the database itself, or you can do transformations in SSAS. It just depends on really what you want to work with. And as always, we'll start the data flow. You know, I'm thinking maybe there's going to be as uh, as uh, as Douglas Adams would say, this could be a fourth video in the trilogy of uh, SSIS. Okay. doing it, we have an important data flow task. That's the first thing you have to do. That's why we're not seeing the sources. Interesting. FT, FT file system task, expression task, FT, FTP task. Over here. Come back up here. Postgres source. Again, one of, the, one of the advantages to uh, hopefully this will work. Select the database. Select the uh, oh. This is this is the login for Postgres. Let's see what happens. Test connection now. Good. Now we can now we select our database. Data source. 
Okay, good. Good, good, good. Columns. Okay. Time. Big init. Time period and text. I just added that dramatic pause there for you know, for our, for effect. Let's see. Oh, all DB destination. Now, if, if you ever use tell there, this this should look familiar to you, okay? Because I mean the, the 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 way the way the flow works and stuff is almost identical. Okay, let's go over here now. Now again, I want you to notice that we don't have to actually define the column types separately. Server name. Select database name. Again, the the the, uh, the provider is the Microsoft LLDB driver for SQL Server. Thank you very much. data. So now we're all set. Hopefully. Oh, we didn't we didn't map the comp we, we don't actually have to do the mapping. We have to yet to yet to show that it's there. Alright. I don't know why they, I don't know why these are in different in different order for but as you can see they're all still they're all still done. Alright. Now let's take a deep breath here now and let's run our code. Everything ran. Let's go back over here now. And let's say And there we have it. Alright. Uh, the third part of the video, but don't go away. We'll be back and we're going to try to actually now use SSIS to export data to, a, to an Excel spreadsheet, okay?